Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gravity Ace Dev Log live stream thingy. Um, let's see. So, I mean, we were working on this thing. My little uh, launcher guy. And uh, I think last time I left it, it's been a busy couple of weeks, so I haven't really made any progress in the game since last time. But... Um, you know, day job, day job suck. But um, where we left this was this guy has some animations, right? Opens up and he closes. And <clears throat> uh, we decided, I decided that uh, it was going to shoot missiles forever and you can blow the thing up which was opposite of the way I had it before, where it would shoot like five missiles and you could only blow up the missiles. Now I've decided it'll just keep shooting missiles as long as it's alive and we'll have to, you can blow it up. So to do that, I need to add an animation in here and some art for it to be destroyed. And I also want to add some art in here to make it look more armored. So let's go jump into that. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if anybody's got any questions or anything, I'm happy to answer. Um, happy to talk about pixel art or music or game development or Godot engine or whatever. Anything you'd like. Uh, so let me see. First, yeah, I think first I just want to come up with some kind of basic look for this thing. I'm pretty happy with the bottom of it. Um, but the top, I want to do something. Actually, let me do this. That's cool. Makes it look a little, like uh, a little more three dimensional, I guess. Some of these things are behind other things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Think, Let's see, do something like that, like some kind of armor plating on it. Hey, Voxel. Uh, so these are, I think they're called tags, and you can highlight a section like this, and then you can tag it. Um, so you can add whatever tag you want. You can edit the tag. And what it does is, if you're looking at the preview over here, it only shows, so I'm playing the preview animation. So this will show just the open part. So it's just looping these four frames here. If I go over here, now it's looping just these four frames. If I go over here, now it's looping just these four frames. It's like, a, yeah, it's like a way to um, split up your, like, one timeline into multiple different animations. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool. A sprite is great. I love it. more interesting interesting
just playing around here a little bit, doing some sketching. Mm -hmm. Kinda like that. Hmm, I don't know. What does armor look like anyway? <laughs> yeah, it's got a mirror tool. Check this out. Woo! But not just horizontally, you can go vertically too. Woo! Look at that, or you can go do both at once. Yeah. What is that? Oh yeah, you can move them around too, so you might want to do symmetry over here. <clears throat> Let me see. Armored. I'm gonna look at some uh reference here so <laughs> see like this this is pretty cool this is neat looks tough right looks armored see how bulky parts of it are you have these big bulky shapes and I don't like these spikes. It's kind of the look I'm going for. That's cool. Kind of like that. I mean, I don't want to give it claws or anything. I 
That's pretty cool. Carsonization. Hey, Max. Uh, no, I have no idea what carcinization is. I don't even, I've never heard that word before. <clears throat> what? Is it really interesting? In at least five groups. I mean, that seems like it means somebody thinks crab shapes are a good idea. <laughs> crab shapes might be optimal for the environment that they're in and so evolution just leads that way lots of different times that's neat today i learned all right so i got my reference and Looking at my crab. My crab. Let's do. Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! Aww. You guys are sweet. Hey, Nick. So many hearts. Well, I got to say, you guys have all warmed my heart. I'm not, I'm, that was, I, no pun intended. Uh, we're drawing crab-like, so for the people who just joined, actually now that I've got a big audience here, so for the people who just joined, I'm drawing uh, a new enemy and going to attempt to animate it here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm using like some crab reference. And for those of you that don't know, we just learned that carcinization is a thing where uh, crustaceans evolved into crab-like forms independently like a bunch of times throughout the evolution of the world. Max can tell you all about it. Um, but it came up because I was looking for, um, what do you call it, uh, reference for drawing this thing. I'm trying to draw something that looks armored, so I naturally think of crabs. <clears throat> Nice to meet y'all. I'm sure, I mean, this is going to be a little different than what Nick's doing, right? He's uh, Mr. Construct Master and uh, Monkeys with Guns, and we love that stuff. And I am just a monkey with Godot engine. But welcome to everybody, and thank you for coming by. Monkey with crabs. Crabs with guns. I feel like that must be a thing, like pizza rat or something. Can I show my game? Sure. Let me show you it. Get my controller here. All right. We got sound. Oop. There 
There we go. All right. I've been told it is juicy. <laughs> Crabs with abs. All right. Let me play a just a short level. Let's do Let's do this one. This one's really short, but it it basically shows you the idea. These levels are still under construction, but so you basically get a side view, got your ship, you can blast things with your ridiculous gun. There's a fuel mechanic, so uh, if you run out of fuel, you kind of die. And then you have to get this thing, which is like really heavy and a little difficult to control. And you can sort of imagine, uh, I mean, you'll have to imagine, but there are going to be uh, levels where. Um, you know, it's you have to maneuver this thing out, and you know you're gonna have to go through like narrow passageways and that sort of thing uh, to get it out. And then you escape, and you get some awesome points. Oh, I got the S. Do another mission. I forgot that I like playing this game. You guys are seeing like top secret um, spoilers right now, actually. Spoiler alert. Actually, these, I don't know if even these levels are going to make it into the final game, but something along these lines will. Let's see, I'm at 60% fuel, 50% fuel. Ugh, I made it to the bottom. Physics based. Oops, come back over here. I've been working on this for, I guess, two years now, off and on, mostly off. Probably have about, I don't know, maybe a couple thousand hours into it. And, um, uh, you know, I mean, I have a day job, so I've been doing this in my spare time. Vo uh, voxel gravity is not always in the same direction. Um, there are... Some, on some levels, there are these uh, like black holes that'll attract things in. You can orbit them, uh, and they change direction 
uh, like they'll change gravity locally in that area. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, well, so, I mean, Isolated Ace. I like your name, Ace. Um, crabs don't tie in directly, but the enemies are all kind of bug-like. And as we all know, crabs are the giant, gross, underwater bugs of the sea. Um, and this guy is a, it's a like armored, um, missile launcher and it's very tough to destroy. It has a lot of hit points. So I wanted to make it, I wanted to give it like an armored appearance and that's, that's how I got the crabs. <laughs> hey droopy. Uh, I actually do need music for the game. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I've been thinking, um, I've been trying to make my own, but it turns out I suck at it. Um, so maybe, um, yeah, maybe let's talk. Turns out making a game is a lot harder than, um, anybody told me. Harder than it should be. And so, if I can get some help on the music, that would be, that could be dope. Could be pretty cool. Yeah, making a full game is hard. That's like the understatement of forever. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely. Let's, let's get in touch, Troopy. I sound like every game dev ever. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe there are some game devs who are like, oh yeah, making games is easy. I make games all the time. That's getting too busy. What am I doing? That looks kind of cool. All right, so we got some kind of armored thingies. That actually looks kind of cool. What if we gave it eyes? Where would the eyes go? it flips is easy yeah <clears throat> all right that I think that's that's actually not bad I kind of like that let me see let's see how it looks in the game uh, oh it's gonna look weird well let's just do it See, that doesn't look bad. The animation's not gonna work. But. That's fine. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna restructure this a little bit because um, I'd had an idol before. Maybe I still want the idol though. Yeah, I still want the idol. So I'm gonna do that. link and then right and then this thing this open close bit it's going to do something different Heck. That 
was weird. Look at that. I must have done that by accident somehow. All right, so before, before the uh, the doors would open like that, right? But I don't want to do that now. I want to have it do something different. So those I'm going to unlink. Then. How should these open? Probably going to need more than four frames. I guess any key. Let's do this. Let's make this more complicated. So let's make it do Separate that out. Let's cut that, paste it. Uh, oh, wait. I'm going to take this too. Yeah. Cut that. Paste it, hide it, take this, do that. Now I can take this guy, right? Neat, 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 neat. Oh, that's wrong. don't want this, but I also do want this, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and then I want to do the same thing with this piece, cut this out. I got some pieces I can move around. <sighs> Space crabs. All right, so this is this small piece, and this layer is this piece. So if I put them back together like that, right? <clears throat> so then I can animate these things separately. So we'll start by 
So it'll, it'll be coming from this, right? To the idle. Just sitting there idling. And then all of a sudden it goes. And this will go up like that. Right? And then copy both of these here. Oh, let's take this first. Copy, copy, copy. Uh, then this. Uh, and actually, let me do this. I'm going to copy the other half. <coughs> Hide those. So I'm going to take this half. Oops. Take this half and just duplicate it on the other side. So I'm going to copy it, paste it, flip it, like that, right? Yeah, uh, but I did it wrong. I need to erase this first. <laughs> erase first. All right, then I can copy the whole thing. Copy, paste, flip, boom. And then copy that, paste, paste, paste. All right, then I can unhide those. All right. Uh, and then I can copy that here. And then this guy is going to do a thingy here. Let's see. We'll have it rotate a bit. Like that. Rotate and like that. That's fine. We can clean that up in a minute. And then this one will go down. Uh, but I want it to go behind, so let's move this layer under. And then copy that. And we'll go, actually, let me clean that up first. will go ka-chunk chunk like that and then ka-chunk so it starts here let me add one more frame let's do that copy that yeah. Mm, maybe. <laughs> it helps to make the sound effects with your mouth when you're doing them. That's a fact. So then I can copy that, flip it, oh, paste it, flip it, copy, paste, flip. How come that's not working? Copy, paste, flip. Uh, uh, do I need another frame? Copy, paste, flip. Copy, paste, flip. Copy, paste, flip. Copy, paste, 
next flip. And copy, paste, flip, copy, paste, flip. Maybe these things need to move a little bit because um, they're just going up, right? Up. Yeah, I want them to go over. Let's do that. Uh, let's merge these. Well, let's go like that. those and then this one like that and seven That's not bad. Why is this changing? Oh, because I just flipped both sides. Yeah, maybe. Let's do this. Let's merge these and yeah, I want to take all of these and do a different color. When I do game jams, I usually do the sounds with my mouth um, and just record a bunch of them, pop them in. Back when I did game jams, game jams stress me out, so I don't do game jams as much anymore. So you can imagine the sound would have to go, it has to sound mechanical, right? So it has to be like, you want to hear like a like a motor sound and then you want to hear a kakonk 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 so when I'm doing the actual sound effects I kind of know what I want to do you know maybe there's some steam this is why I think I need more frames here I've only got uh, five frames for this, but on the other hand, well, let's let's go ahead and add some more. What the heck? So let's merge these down. Start labeling things. These are the uh, uh, shield doors. These are the. I don't even know what these are. Door thingies. <clears throat> and then I'll add another layer here called uh, steam. And we'll do like, how many frames is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do nine so we'll have like four frames of steam here and the steam's real easy 
you just do something like um, uh, well yeah I mean you need like a big puff first right there's a brush that does this hold on a second is it this no what the heck is it you guys know what I'm talking about there's a contour brush Oh, what's that? Okay. So, yeah, you take like some kind of steam thing, right? And then that like blows up that way. And it blows up this way. next frame it goes like expands but it starts breaking up and then it really starts dissipating here And then the missile launches. So this thing, I think I just want, for the idle, I just want... Uh, let me bring up one of my other ones. <clears throat> it's always helpful for me to go back and see what I've done with other things. Um... Partly because I want things to, you know, feel cohesive. I want all the different enemies to work together. But partly just because I forgot what I did before. All right, so this guy, this is a, typically how I'll set these things up, right? It's got a default, which is just like the base thing. This one, when it shoots, it does like a little recoil animation. This is its animation when it's dead. And this is when it appears from like hiding, sneak attack. All right, so it's got kind of, it's got this segmented armored appearance, the long legs, kind of crab like, bug like, right? I thought I had more like uh, flashy lights and bits and stuff on here, but they do all have this circle, right? This kind of circular eye thing, so I need to add that in here. Why don't I just copy that? Let's copy it. Right? Oops. And also here and here, here and here and here and here. And here. Here and here and here. I think I can link all these. Nope. I can link these. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, shield doors, not crab claws. But kind of like evocative, right? Of a crustacean I think that I need something here this doesn't look right to me like it doesn't look connected here it, from here to here it doesn't feel connected I think I want to take these and move them yeah that looks better and then these yeah, maybe.
maybe even just going one more down. Kachunk, 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 right? Yeah, it'll need an eye when dead. And then because I've added the steam, I need a separate animation for when it closes because I don't want it to shoot the steam when it closes. So, do that. Take this to frame 13. Tag this as close. And we'll take, let's see. I think I want to go from here. Nine eight seven six five. Right, so I want to go like that and take all of this. Copy. Actually, I want to do it in reverse though. So take that and take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. So that's us closing up. And then opening up and closing. Yeah, I'm thinking like it's got to have some kind of blinky lights on it. So, like when it goes to close, it's going to go back into idle mode, right? So, it's going to have some like. Hmm, I don't know. I could give it an antenna or something. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just uh, the eye is off. Right, it's off, and then it comes on, and it closes up, and it goes back to idle. idle I think I want it to have like some kind of thing oh I can't put it there let's do a new layer we'll call it uh, lights lights You mean modulating it in the engine?
one thing I don't like about animation. I mean, it's fine, but there's a lot of, maybe it's because I suck at it, but there's a lot of copying, a lot of pasting. Hold on one sec, I'm ordering some food. Getting some tacos. Why isn't that letting me draw there? Oh, because it's the wrong layer. It's the wrong layer. Do I even want this thing here? Jeez, it's a pain in the neck. Let me undo that. I don't like it. It's too hard to draw. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, how do we feel about this big blank area here on the shield? Is this, I don't know, does it like scream out at you saying, hey, why is that area so flat and blank? I could do, what if I did that? That's fine. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Copy that to there. I don't like the lines. I'm going to erase them all. I'm going to undo every, everything I just did. <laughs> Alright, so I've got this the idle. Just sitting there, doing nothing, hanging out. Rivets, maybe. Rivets would be cool. Got the open. I think I want this thing when it opens. I want the whole thing to kind of shake. So right... Right here, right? Good chunk, right? Good chunk. So I want the body part. Let's un unlink that right there. Uh, unlink all of those. 
those. And then I can have the whole thing go ka chunk. Yeah. Which frame? The left one opens one pixel further. Does it? Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Good eye. Something, how many is that? That one's okay. How is that messed up right there? That's what it is. So this guy. That, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I don't like the steam. I don't like the steam. The problem is, I think the steam uh, shouldn't explode like this. It should. Uh, let's see. It should. How does steam actually work? <laughs> Oh boy. How do you even search that? Steam. Ugh, of course. Uh huh. See, it comes out like from a pinhole, right? And then it expands. It doesn't start as a ball and then turn into a stream. Uh, steam vent. What is this? Oxygen not included. This was the, um, oh God, what was the other game they did? This was the, uh, don't starve guys, right? See, that's kind of what I want. All right. How many frames do I have? One. Chunk. Yeah, so four frames here. <clears throat> I liked Don't Starve. I played it a lot, uh, but I had to stop playing because there's so much clicking in that game that it was actually damaging my hand. <laughs> you know?
You know, I couldn't, I couldn't keep playing it because it hurt. It hurt to play it. So let's do like a steam blast this way. And a steam blast this way. Right, and then those steam blasts turn into like they start spreading out into a cloud. And then that cloud, so initially it goes a long distance and then it spreads out, it slows down significantly. And so this third frame, it's not gonna, it's gonna barely move at all, right? It'll be more like something like that. Get some curvature under there. It's already starting to break up and then just do this side. And then the final frame is just particles left over. That looks better. You can hold space bar instead of clicking. Play with the controller? I didn't know you could play Don't Star with the controller. Was it always with the controller? I thought you had to play with the mouse and keyboard at first. I don't know. It's been so long. Uh, you know what I've been playing lately with the controller, though? Is this game. Oh. This might be a perfect game. That didn't work. FTL was great. This game, I love much more than FTL. Uh, I mean, the music is very similar, right? And I think, I don't know if it's the same uh, musician, but it probably is, because it sounds very similar. Uh, I love the soundtrack. The whole game is really cool. It's like um, it's like XCOM mixed with Sokoban, I guess. <laughs> it's a really neat puzzle game, uh, and that's kind of how I played XCOM too. X every turn in XCOM is like a puzzle that you have to solve. How do you kill the most bad guys and take the less, least amount of damage and achieve your objectives, right? Uh, but it's played over multiple turns, so there's a strategy to it as well. Uh, this is like that, but you can play the whole beginning to end in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, I've only I've only been playing it for a week, um, but mm, chefkiss.jpg. It is fantastic. I think it's on sale, too. Is that why I bought it? Yeah, look. It's only seven bucks. I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna suck up all your time though, I promise you. <clears throat> I'm gonna play it right after the stream. Hey, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, hit me up on um uh, <laughs> Droopy, hey, hit me up on uh, Twitter or something, and and let's talk about music. Cool, sweet. I've seen Baba is you, uh, but I'm not sure how you play it. Is it like, I know there's like nouns and verbs, and you can change the thing that you are. Uh, it looks interesting.
It won some awards too, I think, right? Alright, let's do the close. Let's do a couple of frames here for when it closes. Oops. Right, so it's going to go close. Ka-chunk. Right? Ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk. So right there where it chunks we need to have a little blast. but you can put programming states around programming states is it a coding game I'll have to check it out it looks it looks cool um, I remember when I saw it I was like oh that's really neat and then I never bought it or played it there's too many games too many games all right, I think that's fine for these. So now I'm going to do the death. And the death one's pretty easy, actually. I just need to, I'm gonna delete all this. The death one, I just take the regular, whatever it is, full animation. And, uh, whoops, and then link those. How many? Wow, I did a full 12 frames here for my death for this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's do 12. It's 4. Right? So I've got 12 frames here for my death. I'm going to link all of these. That way, when you link things, if you make a change in one frame, it's changes in all of these linked frames so you don't have to keep duplicating it hey Avi oh, I don't have my hat on I don't have a webcam anyway <laughs> you know I saw um, you guys know uh, Kenny the free asset guy so he he said he's gonna stream uh, <laughs> I should wear it when I program. I'm going to put it on right now. All right, I'm wearing my captain's hat. Uh, so he was streaming or planning to stream and today, and uh, he said he hadn't done it in a while and didn't know if his webcam worked, but he doesn't like showing himself on stream anyway, like me, because I'm self-conscious or whatever. I just, I don't, I don't like, I don't like to be seen. I hate, Zoom is like the worst thing that's happened to me. <clears throat> um, so he made a little um, bot, a little robot, like an animated thing, like a puppet, I guess, that appears on the screen. He can control it, and it's like his avatar. I think I might make something like that in Godot. All right, so, so when things are dead, they change colors, right? They change into this color and this color, little yellow highlights, and sparks of electricity. So this purple, this light purple, and this yellow. So let's do that. Purple, 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 purple. Why do I still have that thingy there? Let's erase that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And I want to take the back, this, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Like that. All right. Shift R, huh? I think uh, X does the same thing. It's the same uh, short key as uh, like Photoshop and stuff. <clears throat> All right, so here's the fun thing. So it's dead, right? So you can we have to damage it. So that means you've got to like destroy some bits. So I'm gonna take like this bit here. And just mess it up. Like that. And take a bit here. Do that. And do that. And do something like that. And like that. All right. And then I'm going to take this yellow, pop it in there. Use damaged areas. And didn't I have some pink in there? Yeah. Some of this. Some of this pink in there. Alien blood. Alien robot crab blood. semi-organic uh, cyborg robot alien blood all right that looks messed up let's take this Rotate. There we go. Right? That's what it'll look like after it's been destroyed. And then I want to add some, I'm going to go up here to the top. We'll add a sparks layer and a glow layer. So the sparks layer, what I'll do, the way I do these sparks, it's like you'll see it here. They kind of like, they're like arcs of electricity, right? So here's one that starts. Here's another one. And then they kind of leap off of the thing. So I'll do one like starting right here. So this is where you use the keyboard a lot, right? So you can use left and right arrow to move between frames. And you can go up and down arrow to move between layers. So I can go to the sparks layer and then do an arc and then just go to the next layer. And if I turn on my onion skin correctly, uh, how come it's not showing it? If I look at my onion skin, it's not really showing it. Why not? Probably because the colors aren't right. Uh, let's do current layer only. Oh, in front of sprite. That'll do it. Yeah. <clears throat> so that red there, that's where the last frame is. And if you do it like over here, so you can see. Um, expand this. 
So you see the blue, I'm in between. This blue is the next frame and the red is the pre previous frame, right? So if I go back, you can see it. It's the current frame. That's the previous, that's the next. And I can draw in between, right? Like that. And you see how you get the electricity. <clears throat> and then do it like that. And then here it's going to split. It's going to like, oh, maybe I'll have it like crawl up here and arc out like that, like a crazy amount. Because electricity leaps around, right? And then it will shoot off like that. Seems a little slow. Yeah, that works. So that's one, and then I'll do another one, like, let's do one right here, like that. I'll have it. That's not like how that one. Let's just have this one go. starting right right here that one will go this way like that cool so see, I've got the electricity crawling all over it. And then I can take this glow, uh, I'll add a glow just by doing this, increasing this a little bit, right? So now I've got this. Hey there, Pixel. Got this uh, kind of fat brush with a low opacity. So I can just basically go over um, each of these frames and just sort of trace over where I want it to glow. Turn off the onion skin. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to happen so fast, um, nobody's going to be able to notice it anyway, nobody but me and you. All right, now we got glowy sparks. All right, I like that. So we've got a idol. It's living, right? We've got the doors opening. <laughs> We've got it closing again. And we've got a death. I like it. Um, hey guys, my tacos are here. So I'm going to go eat. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, follow me on Twitter. And you will be able to see the finished uh, thing of this. Um, uh, I'll, I just need to hook it up in the animation player. 
and uh, then I'll post some uh, GIFs of it on Twitter so everybody can see it working. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Come back next time. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, delivery tacos. Isn't isn't life great? Uh, go wish us the game on Steam. Tell everybody about it. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios, everybody. Good night.